the research I'm going to be talking about today yeah. is, is really uh, hot out of the press, actually. I've, I was adding this morning material for a paper that was accepted uh, five hours ago for CVPR. So I hope that the, the presentation is going to be, is going to be smooth. Uh, forgive me if that's if it's not uh, uh, the case. So um, I'm going to talk about um, the beauty of being able to make inference from data and also the challenges in, in doing so. During the conference, we have seen a number of uh, examples of how classifiers can be extremely successful. Um, and what I talk about today is about those successes, but also about the potential uh, dangers, both in terms of um, privacy, but also in terms of safety uh, that uh, we might encounter if we rely blindly on classifiers. So uh, I'd like to start today by asking a question, and this is the question uh, to you. Do you trust your classifier? Um, and for trust, I mean trust in a broad sense. How can you ensure that the classifier does what you are expecting? And if you're providing your classifier as a service <clears throat> to customers, how do you ensure that the classifier does what they are expecting? And I will be talking about these problems under different uh, labels uh, today. Um, and in particular, I will be covering uh, adversarial examples and how they relate to robustness of classifiers. But I will take a particular perspective on robustness of classifiers and th is through the lenses of privacy. And then we will go from privacy towards safety, uh, always thinking about errors that classifiers can make. And I will end up with embodied AI. For, with embodied AI, I mean classifiers, uh, machine learning methods, even deep neural networks that are used by robots that are perceiving the world. So we are very used to extremely successful classifiers trained on data sets that have been captured by humans. And those data sets have got us extraordinary bias because those pictures had been captured by human beings with a certain purpose, with a certain set of abilities. What does happen when images are captured by a device that is moving around and might need to classify in real time what it sees in order to make actions? And that's how I will uh, close uh, the presentation uh, today, and I will invite you to participate in a challenge uh, that we have established with a large data set that we have recently collected. So, do you trust a classifier? A classifier can be represented with an equation as simple as this one. We do 